All right, people. So today's topic is popularity. And I say that because what I'm seeing now, bro. Seeing people that I know, people on the street, definitely social media. Like, everyone trying to ride the wave, man. It's like, it's like real people, true, genuine human beings. They don't got no friends. But these fake niggas and these fake bitches got all of them. I'm not mad. I like being by myself. Put me in solitary confinement. Just don't fuck with my food or my man. That's all I care about. But it's like, I want you to dig deep and really ask yourself, like, is it worth it? Is it worth it to ride the wave even though deep inside you don't want to? You know what I'm saying? Like, in the time of need, like, like just really listen to me. Listen to me. I know I'm drunk. This is Drunk Chronicles right now. When in the time of need, do they call for you? These so-called friends? Or matter of fact, are they the ones you call in the time of need? You know what I'm saying? Like, really ask yourself. Because the breed that is being bred in today's society, it's a fucking shame, bro. It's a shame. Like, everything's going to shit. And it's bad because the world, my peers, which is people that live in the hood, people that live next to me, they following this wave, man. There's no respect. There's no honesty. There's no loyalty. There's no consideration. And most importantly, ain't no fucking love out here, bro. You could have a thousand friends, bro, and say what's up to them every day. But you know when you lying on the floor, bleeding from another nigga, what they gonna do? Scream and holler. Maybe take a fucking video, put it on, put it on Instagram. And say, damn RP, my nigga. They ain't gonna bust their gun for you. It's facts, man. People really need to understand and dig deep and dissect this shit, man. That's why when people talk to me, man, I wanna know why that shit went into your mind and came out your mouth. So I'm trying to dissect that shit. Because you can't trust nobody, bro. You really gotta, like, analyze shit. Analyze people, body language, analyze your life. Because it's crazy, bro. <laughs> and this shit, this shit will swallow you up, man. You could scroll on any one of y'all that actually look at my shit. <laughs> fake niggas, fake bitches. Look on your timeline. And you see all that fake love, bro. Is that what you really want? That's all I got to say, man, because it's like, I'm tired of this shit, man. I don't really want to spit wisdom to people, but if I could help maybe two people and keep this breed that I am alive, I'm going to do it. Because I'd rather see this breed that's out here nowadays self-destruct. You know what I mean? Because everybody want to be in everybody's face. I don't do that shit. I love from afar. Nigga, you could call me. I'm coming. And that's what you need to know. If I fuck with you and I mess with you hard and and and, and you know me, <clears throat> you know I'm just a phone call away, bro. You know what I mean? And that's realness. You know what I'm saying? I don't got to be in your face every day. I don't got to do all that shit. You know, and, and another thing, too, these bitches out here nowadays, yo, y'all need to step y'all game up, man. It's a shame, man. Because it's like, it's like the niggas out here that be talking the loudest, talking like they Takashi or some shit. You know what I'm saying? They fucking snitches, soft ass niggas, or they mouth gonna get you killed. Because that's how it works. It's always the innocent, man. You know what I'm saying? Good die young. And these bitches out here, yo, they ain't shit. Half of these bitches that swear that they look bad, that they some bad bitch. Nigga, half of my... Niggas that I fuck with from back in the day done ran through y'all. Man, stop playing with yourself. I pull niggas' cars. This is the Drunken Chronicles. And I'm about to start this shit. So either you gonna like it, respect it, comment, whatever. I don't care. I'll take it all. You know what I'm saying? But when you see me, though, what am I doing? You see me? I'm by myself. 
I got beef with a nigga by myself. Going to work by myself. Out here in these streets doing what I do by myself. Riding my own wave. And that's what y'all really need to do. Stop riding another nigga's wave just because it's in. Just because it's, it's trending now. Man, be different, man. Be yourself, bro. A lot of these motherfuckers, that's, it's like y'all too busy trying to be hard, bro. Stop doing that shit, man. Because, yo, one day, the way you talk to somebody, and you don't know what that person's going to, going through. So it's like, be careful how you talk to the next man. Because it just might be the last person you talk to. And this is real facts, man. This is real fucking street knowledge. This ain't no fucking I read in a book. This is shit I've been through, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's one thing that taught me growing up is body language. I dissect everything. I could tell from your body language how you coming. By the way you look at me when you talking. If you keep staring away. Or, nigga, I could tell, bro. Looking through niggas. So all I got to say, man, is try and keep this breed alive, man. This breed is dying, bro. For real. Everybody want to shoot. Nobody want to fight no more. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy, man. Like, when is the real going to come back? Because all I see on my timeline is real nigga this, real bitch that, real. But y'all all fake. Y'all fucking fake. It's crazy, bro. Y'all fucking homemade shit. Like, niggas just assembled you in their kitchen, nigga, while we was cooking crack. Nigga, y'all soft. Nigga, get it together, man. That's all I got to say, man. Today's society, man, I don't give a fuck what you is, nigga. Blood, crap, king, nieta. I don't care, bro. Just be your fucking self, man. Stop following the wave. That's it. I'm tired of seeing that shit, man. I'm tired of seeing that shit on my timeline, man. Everybody want to be the next motherfucking Nicky Barnes or somebody. Everybody want to be Tony Montana and all these other niggas. But you know what? Half of them big time mobsters and all these other motherfuckers that you glorify are snitches. Half of y'all niggas was glorifying Takashi. Talking about he the realest nigga, blood gang this. And what happened? <laughs> nigga a snitch. Whole squad full of snitches too. Facts. That's just facts. And it's always crazy because it's like the loudest nigga in the room be the softest, bro. That's why when I see all that rah-rah shit, I, I, I keep that shit. Y'all could have a spotlight. I'm going to stay in the back. But I'll see you though. This is Facts, Drunken Chronicles.